Hi, this is Rob from Native Ad Buzz. I've been asked by some people to show how our tool can be used to track campaigns that have gone viral after spending a bit of money on advertising. Now I'll just give you a bit of background to this. A few months ago uh, some people that I work with and I were looking to find a way to reliably send content viral and we found various tools on the web that allowed us to do that. We also have for a number of years been using competitive ad intelligence tools but we didn't find anything that actually combined the two so we decided to create our own. The goal being that we could literally look at what other people are doing to send content viral with a minimal amount of advertising uh, and we specifically wanted to use native advertising because it's fairly early days for native advertising but there's massive volume on some very well trusted web properties and uh, you, the because the native ad networks are fairly young you can advertise and use advertising and advertise content that wouldn't necessarily be allowed on some of the more mature networks like um, AdWords, Bing, Facebook, etc. So without further ado, I'll show you what we came up with. Um, I'll, th we've got various other videos that show you just how to use the tool and how to find sort of profitable campaigns. But what I'm particularly interested in is looking at the social impact that adverts have made to send content viral. So we can look at which the social impact that, that various landing pages and adverts have had by yesterday, last week, last fortnight or last month. So for instance we're looking at what was um, the biggest mover yesterday and here what we can see is this advert for um, 16 cancer causing foods you shouldn't eat was advertised for three days so far not, not been seen a huge amount of times um, but those three days of advertising finally got a bit of traction and got this um, landing page I'll go to the landing page in a minute you got some Twitter shares but it got 20,000 shares on Facebook. Now, so that's showing that you can literally just spend a little bit of cash sending some adverts out into the world. Um, and this is the page that it goes to. Uh, looks like a sort of a, a health type site with quite a bit of advertising, uh, lots of native ads running on it. As you can see there has been quite a lot of sharing of this article and like most of these sort of um, arbitrage type sites it doesn't give you all the information in a big long page you've got to click to go to each page. Um, maybe it does have some useful information maybe it doesn't but this is exactly the type of thing that people like to share on Facebook and let's go through it a bit more. I mean this doesn't look like this just looks like some sort of again some arbitrage type site but here again you can see this ad run for a day and a couple of days later sharing really started kicking off and it's had 6,000 shares on Facebook and what this tool allows you to do uh, you can even see minus shares where people stop liking it for whatever reason you can see what networks allow you to run these type of adverts. You can see the landing pages. So it allows you to build up a picture. Doesn't matter what, um, you know, whether you're an affiliate marketer, whether you've got an arbitrage website, whether you haven't got anything and you're trying to get an idea of something to do. So many of these sites look similar. Viral Nova is quite a popular one. Just full of lots of strange looking adverts and a exit pop advert there um, but this is so sorry I haven't really explained 
the um, the graphs. Just trying to find something that looks like it might be interesting. Uh, let's look at something like this. So here we can see this ad was running for over a month. Number one exercise is accelerate aging. Okay, this ad hasn't even been running the last month actually, but it's still getting shares. So you can, <coughs> you know, the old adage of build it and they will come is an absolute load of rubbish. You, you need to, if you've written some content that is viral worthy, then native advertising is quite a good way of just sort of pushing it out there. So let's look at these wedding ring type sites. I mean, it's got a massive amount of shares, obviously. I don't want to be so yeah so here you go you can see a couple of ads run here and there you can see the impact that this it's quite hard to track exactly which ad if ads are going to the same place which ad actually set, triggers the content but the point being you've got to look at the advert <coughs> got to look at how much how much it's seen so how much they've spent running it and look at what the um uh, results are and you can see just spending the money to advertise it on a couple of days has had quite a a good result on Twitter and Facebook this landing page I think it just goes to a sort of an e-commerce um, jewelry type site but without wanting to be sexist that's probably something that women like to share if, you know they pick out their ring and pop it on their Facebook page. I'm not suggesting you're going to run a jewellery website, e-commerce store, but let's sort of browse down a bit further. And here, here's some more good examples. You know, that's a very shocking image. World's worst mug shots. Seems to be getting more shares on Google Plus than anything, but let's look at one of these. Let's look at one that's been running. This one ran for 11 days. So you can see here, I mean, it, it's not necessarily a um, a link particularly between this ad, but what it gives you, it gives you a, a very good sort of collection of, of, of data of, of how much you need to spend on an advert or how much effort you need to put into an advert, the type of adverts, the type of landing pages in whatever niche suits you. <clears throat> um, and so these sites, Daily Star, that's a UK newspaper. I thought that was actually going to go off to the old um, look up, <laughs> see if they're you know an affiliate type offer for seeing if people looking at people's um, what am I trying to say? Their criminal records. But you know that you. you doesn't take long to build a picture or of how other people are sending stuff viral uh, and you can you can use that if, if you've got a particular niche that you're trying to work in you can just look at ads not all ads have this um, social impact on them because they don't here might be a good one 12 celebs whose weight gain you have to see you won't believe I don't believe it. Um, just a little bit of advertising here. It sort of picks up here. They obviously, you know, they they saw that there was some traction here. It's died off a bit. Got a bit more interest, and they decided to to up their ad spend. Let's just look at the landing page for that. Press room VIP. Looks like another. Is it an arbitrage site or is it? Oh, I might click that ad later. Um, I haven't actually found any good examples for you. Let's search by a keyword of, I don't know, money. Search. Okay. Top ten big. Okay, well here's an example. This is how you can use this tool even without the um, the viral side of things. Sort by strength. 
billionaires will never tell you this free money system this has got a bit of social sharing uh, you can find what networks uh, rev contents a very good one for running affiliate offers they're very affiliate friendly at the moment that will probably change wealth cash system well congratulations you just landed on the world's only done for you free money it um it's even got an exit pop on this page it just shows you the the type of ads that you can run I actually very much doubt if those uh, social sharing indicators were real but nonetheless they are on that website weird trick to kill teeth sorry I actually I've clicked on here to um, to show you the social sharing there's another one that seems to have quite a bit of social sharing so the point being you can see this advert here it ran for over a month you know and then it's job done it's already it's got it out in the open people are sharing it it's just a way we like to use it to um, <coughs> it's that same website I showed you earlier okay that's not a good example let's look at I don't know let's look at teeth oops can't type teeth Jesus submit so with the tool you can see how long ads are running you see this one here it's been running for four months it's got quite a bit of social sharing no ads recently but still you know people are unliking it and liking it landing pages <coughs> so again okay, sorry right right I, I, what I haven't told you we we are coming up with some training for how to use this but if you depending on what you um you know you want to what your business is or want it to be you can use this tool to research how to scientifically reliably send your content viral so whether you're a blogger whether you have a sort of a, a wannabe viral arbitrage site whether you um, uh, just an affiliate just an affiliate some affiliates I know make substantial sums of money and they're always looking for new traffic sources and if those traffic sources can actually send your content viral as well then happy days you know because you you use an advert to, to just get the content out there and then if it's a good enough landing page product offer people like it then once you've got it out in the open it will carry on doing its thing that's about it for now hope that's helpful for you and uh, speak to you soon